שלום, ברוכים הבאים ליום השלישי של המשחקים במכבייה! Hello and welcome to the European Maccabi Games at Hauptstadt Sport TV. It is the third day and today it's going to get exciting because the first finals are going to take place. But we'll come to that later. Right now we're at the Waldbühne where last night the opening ceremony took place and it was really exciting, really moving and what it looked like we're going to show you now. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear athletes, I wish us all the spirit of tolerance and understanding, the spirit of a great common future for all of us. May you all have great and unforgettable games and a nice day in Berlin. I hereby declare open the 14th European Maccabi Games. Sind eröffnet. With these words, Federal President Joachim Gauck officially opened the 14th European Maccabi Games. And the world was watching 15,000 in the stadium and 10,000 on Hauptstadtsport TV. It was worth it. The evening started with a performance of singer Adel Tawil together with Mati Sau. The Waldbühne, a party zone. These two are used to the grand entrance, the athletes are not. The walk-in for them very special. They were celebrated and celebrated themselves as well. Pure emotions. And it stayed that way all night, singing, dancing and touching speeches. We should forever remember and never forget those who gave their lives for our right to live as Jews. May the memory be blessed. The highlight of the night was the arrival of the torch. The Makabikers traveled with it all the way from Israel and ended their journey in the Waldbühne. Just like they did in 1931 when the message of the first Makabiade was brought to the world. The lighting of the flame, a very special moment. I think it's one of the best shows ever in any Maccabia. It was fantastic. Out of, out, out of the usual. Congratulations, really nice. Everything you said, I think it was very emotional and uh, basically that's it. The opening ceremony, an emotional event for athletes, volunteers, artists and for us. Hashtag great. Hashtag unique. Herzlich willkommen in Deutschland. Bruchim abayim le Germania. Bienvenue da Alemania and welcome to Germany. Very touching and emotional moments last night at the Waldbühne, which make clear that this isn't only about sports, but history plays a big part here at these games too. And a big part also plays sports that aren't that popular normally, like futsal, some kind of indoor soccer. And there are several of these kinds of sports and our reporter Gerrit Lagenstein is going to show you which these are. Bowling, bridge and chess. Doesn't sound like the classical sports? Might be. But here at the Maccabi Games, they are an inherent part. Whereas bridge and chess have been part of the event for a long time, ten-pin bowling, to the delight of the athletes, is included for the first time. At the bowling studio in Berlin, they were chasing strikes and spares. If he had it his way, bowling should be part of the games permanently. We hope for a successful premiere and a quick follow-up. Hopefully the athletes from the US and Israel will then be part of it as well. They are really good, unfortunately they are not here. However, the attendant crowd showed off their talent. Besides, it was amazing to see how every athlete was excited about the success of the others. Envy was totally out of the place. At Bridge, Great rejoice wasn't seen. No wonder, after all, the game asks for high concentration. Obvious that silence was the first priority. 
One or the other might doubt the athletic value of bridge. One reason could be that the game at first sight is not easy to understand. This complexity has advantages. Bridge stimulates the brain and reduces the chances of getting Alzheimer disease. Besides, bridge has quite a few similarities with other sports. Concentration and fairness in bridge is just as important as in other sports. In fact, bridge is chess with playing cards. Real chess is generally known as a play with wooden men. Just as in bridge, the athletes in room number 418 at the gymnasium were highly concentrated. Chess is a game of patience. What seems agonizing for the general audience makes it attractive for the athletes of the tournament. It is not a sport in a typical sense. We are not moving. But it demands brain work, which can be exhausting. For me, it is fascinating that sometimes I can feel the adrenaline. Many a player couldn't stay on his chair because of the strain. No matter if sitting or standing, chess has a right to exist at the European Maccabi Games. After all, it's not just sport that's in the foreground. Primarily, the competitions are a meeting of Jewish athletes from all over the world. So, bowling, bridge and chess are definitely an enrichment to the Games. And from the non-Olympic sports, we're back at an Olympic sport. We're here at the swimming pool of the European Maccabi Games. And the first finals have been taken place. And we're going to show you who the winner was. Showdown in the Olympic pool. Today, the first finals of the swimming competitions took place. Here, 14-year-old Jonathan Heimann from Berlin demanded a great deal of himself. Over 50 meters dolphin, he had to compete against the strong team from the U.S. In the preliminaries, Jordan Greenberg from Michigan swam the fastest time. However, he was so impressed by the event that winning for him seemed almost to be secondary. This, well, this is my first time out of the country and coming here makes it very historic, knowing, knowing that this, was, this whole stadium was built by Nazis and back in 1936 and almost 80 years later all Jews are competing here. It's just amazing. Jonathan Heimann only came in fourth in both styles, 50 meters dolphin and 100 meters breaststroke. Although he was the youngest athlete of all, he was not happy with the results. Also, ich wollte ja schon eigentlich Gold gewinnen. Ich wollte schon. I wanted to win gold, wanted to come in first. I am disappointed that it is only fourth place, but my favorite discipline is 100 meters freestyle, and this will take place tomorrow. So I am looking forward to that. At the end of the day, Jordan Greenberg won gold and silver, the latter in a new personal minimum time. The swimming competitions are not over yet, and if you want, you can see more. You can watch swimming at the Maccabi Games in Berlin here. And we have the patron here for swimming, Zara Pöwe. Zara, if you see the swimming pool and everything, would you like to just jump in and take part in the Games? Um, I don't think I would want to take part. <laughs> I think in my circumstance now being highly pregnant, it would be a little bit difficult. But I definitely miss it. Um, I look at it now, being outside, blue water, it's definitely something very attractive. And uh, I still go on certain occasions, go and swim, and it really makes me feel like I'm back at home. Um, but the time has come after 2012 when I ended my career that it was really time to end everything. Physically, it was I was at my limits, but um, I definitely enjoy sometimes, like I said, jumping in and just feeling back at home. So you were the first athlete after the Olympics, 36 Jewish athlete, who won a medal for Germany. Uh, is this something very, very special now to have the Maccabi Games here in Berlin for you? Definitely. Unfortunately, when I was still very active in the swimming world, um, I was approached many a times to take part, but uh, due to certain circumstances, my studies or just being in the middle of a preparation for Europeans, world champs or Olymp Olympic Games, I was always... F 
I always had to say, I always had to cancel it. But now that since 2012, I have a little bit more time, I retired and opening up my own business as a, a personal swim coach, I can, um, I can divide my timing a lot better. And uh, I was fortunate enough as soon as they asked me to, to say yes and to be part of this beautiful and historical event. Okay, then have a good time, enjoy it here. And much. we are going to stay in the water, but we're going to change the sport and we'll go to the water polo. The Olympic Park in Berlin does not only stand for the Olympics 1936, but also for the presence. It's the home of several German teams, volleyball, football and water polo. The water polo players seem to bequeath a special gene. Hagen Stamm and his son Marco are our sample in Berlin. In Team Maccabi USA, it's the Borisovs. For assistant coach Derek and his three sons with number 2, 3 and 11, the trip to Germany is a family vacation. Oh, it's a blast, man. It's great. I love playing with my brothers. Uh, I've been playing with my older brother my whole life, so, you know, it's always fun. We have a connection. My younger brother I didn't play with so much. He's a, little, a lot younger than I am, so, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's great. We'll go right into the game and we're back at Spencer. He scores the first goal in majority, 1-0 USA. Israel is not impressed by that, outplayed the US and is successful. Ido Goldschmidt makes the next goal and right before the first break they take the lead. After that it goes back and forth until Ido Goldschmidt shows how strong he is. One goal after the other from the player with the number 8. Starting at the second half, the audience sees a predominant game from Israel, who takes a comfortable lead. Finally, they win the game 16 to 5. Man of the match, Ido Goldschmidt with seven goals. He was playing against the coach who will be his coach soon. Yes, I'm going to play in the USA in the United States. Uh, my coach is going to be the coach of the, he, this coach, Coach Layson, of the Maccabi USA team is going to be my coach in the university. So I'm very excited, first of all, to play against him now and next one to play under him. And that's it. Most likely, Coach Layson would have wished he would have played in his team already. Now he has to keep going and win the next games. By all means, Israel is one of the favorites in the tournament. The third day is over and the first medals have been given away today. And this is already the end of our show for today, but we're going to be back tomorrow with all the highlights and all the main events that are going to take place. And until then, you can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And yeah, stay sporty. See you tomorrow at the Maccabi Games. Yo soy español, español, español. El Israel, el Israel. Yo soy español, español, español.